welcome to drop up shop this is my first video y'all so hang in there with me everybody knows especially you youtubers know that when you make your first video that's your most raggedy video so yeah it's gonna of course there's gonna be a few dinks and tinks throughout this video just like i just stumbled but whatever we gonna keep it moving this is drop up shop i changed my channel name it used to be cold piece customs but we changed it up so we gonna go with a fresh start so today we gonna talk about a few things let's get into this y'all we at the factory now that's why you see all the ish in the background but we're gonna get it cleaned up we're gonna get this stuff up out of here soon that's gonna be another video but today we're gonna be covering coronavirus oakland but we still incorporating it into this channel because you know i always cover my creations i always cover the shoes the custom shoes and all the other stuff but make sure you go check out my old video from cold piece customs which is still on this channel because i changed the name of the channel this is a brand channel now so we're gonna do it like that check out my old video though because it's my most raggedy video that's officially my first video that's my most raggedy video i shot it with a raggedy ass android phone and it looks terrible the quality's terrible but the idea was genius and so many people copied and that's gonna be another video I'm gonna do actually I'm gonna do a reaction video to all the people that copied off of my ideas so stay tuned for that one too that's gonna be a different video so today we're gonna take a trip down to the flea market it's getting a little late so the flea market's probably closing a little um, I just need to go up there to get a few things which they probably don't even have right now or the price is probably crazy because of the coronavirus but I'm gonna go up there looking for some gloves and some mask i usually get these things from the flea market anyway but i haven't been able to do it lately and everywhere is sold out of masks the prices are crazy They're asking like 25 dollars a piece for a mask i might even do a video showing you guys how to make your own mask soon or i might be selling them myself and making them myself and selling them back here i might start a sweatshop back here i'm just joking please don't but anyways we about to get into this we about to go to the flea market we about to do flea market finds today too because usually i do flea market finds on this channel because we love going to the flea market and finding stuff up there but today we going up there for a certain thing and it's the gloves and the mask so let's see if we can find some gloves and masks today at the flea market first we gonna gear up i'm already geared up i got my hoodie on right now because it's a little windy outside and who knows this stuff could be blowing around in the air and i got a few masks i'm gonna show you guys and number one you guys always gotta have some vitamins in your body before you leave out the door even if there is no coronavirus always put vitamins in your body they're good for you let's get into this all right so we about to gear up and go out i got my vitamins i got my mask so make sure before you go out the door coronavirus oakland make sure before you go out the door get some vitamins and you mainly inclination vitamin c that's what they suggest and i've been hearing a lot of inclination 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 so hopefully hopefully they got some inclination at the store left and hopefully everybody didn't run through the inclination like they did with the tissue like they did with the rice like they did with the water and the gloves and the mask like hopefully we got some inclination left you know what i'm saying so back to the vitamin c you always got to have some vitamin c and get whether there's a virus out there or not i mean you got to have some vitamins in you whether there's a virus out there or not i put vitamin I, I take vitamins every day so we got the vintage yellow mask they say these these type of masks are not effective i got this vintage yellow mask out of my granny's i call it vintage yellow because i got it out of my granny's cabinet she actually used to use these back in the 90s so i remember these like i grabbed these i remembered that they she, i asked her if she still had them she said she still had them so i went inside the cabinet sure enough i brushed some dust off the box opened the box up and i got a hundred masks right there but they say these are the ones that are not even effective i wear this it's not gonna do nothing for me these right here come in a five pack i was buying these anyway because i do use masks for my art projects sometimes i use them for my art projects i need to use a mask so i had got a five pack of these from the dollar store a while ago i always keep masks on me but this definitely ain't gonna stop you from the coronavirus look how thin those are look you might even catch it just because you got you might catch it quicker just because you got a thin man but this is the one that everybody's talking about this is the one that's going on that everybody's raised jacking up the prices on like these are going for like at least 25 to 100 dollars a pack or a piece right now 
Like I heard there some they were charging two hundred dollars for a pack of these, but there's only one. My granny's. This is the one she's been wearing around town. So of course I'm not gonna be wearing it. She needs it more than I do, but I'm gonna find one. And hopefully maybe hey, if it gets really bad, I'm gonna do a video on how to. I'm gonna do a tutorial on showing you how to make your own homemade N95 mask because I can make anything and it's looking like we are gonna have to start making our own because there's none ever they're sold out everywhere it's crazy they're sold out everywhere and they're on back order and the prices are crazy so hopefully they can make some more of those and come down on the price you know but let me get into this let me I'm about to take me some inclination right now you thought I wasn't about to do it on camera huh I'm gonna take one because I have four left. I usually take two, but I usually take two. But right now, we're gonna have to savor. Pick up vitamin C. We're gonna have to save her. Sorry for crunching in your ear. But <laughs> we're gonna have to save her the incarnation though. Because we don't know how much incarnation is left out there in Oakland. Anywhere, actually. This orange vitamin kind of tastes like candy, like a. What's them candies they used to have? little round ones that came in a little a little round they look like little pills and they came different colors smarties or something a lot of y'all probably don't know about that i don't even know if they come up if they even have those anymore but anyway that's what that vitamin tasted like get vitamins vitamins are important vitamin c and kinesia very important for this virus things going on out there keep them immune systems up now I'm on my way to the flea market. Let's get going. What's up now? I'm back. So the old vintage yellow is what I decided to go with. <laughs> Even though I told you it's not really effective, I'm gonna still go ahead and go with this one. Cause I'm about to go ahead and catch the bus. So take this bus trip with me real quick. We on the way to the flea market. Coliseum Flea Market, Oakland, California. None. I'm just recording my new show on YouTube, Drop Up Shop. <laughs> they thought I was playing. I told you I was about to do this. I'm on the way to the bus stop right now. So, the bus stop right around the corner. Um, it's kind of late. So, to be honest with you, I don't know. What's gonna happen? Like I think <laughs> everybody starts getting out of there around 11 o'clock. It's already one o'clock. I've seen people at the flea market all the way up until like three o'clock. But on a Monday, um, everybody gets out of there earlier on Monday for some reason. We might have to go back tomorrow, but I'm still go. So let's get to that bus stop. <laughs> 